On this page, we have officially covered the clan histories of three of the four noble clans of Konoha. That would be the Uchihas, the Hyugas, and the Abarames. And that family is a fan favorite, the Akamichi. I'm really excited to cover this family because they are one of the most storied clans in the history of Konoha. They're on their 15th clan head, and they all have really cool and interesting techniques that you actually may not understand as well as you think you do. But there is one thing that you should understand rather easily, and that is your need to please for me. Like this video, subscribe to the page and hit that noti bell so the akamichi clan we unfortunately don't know a whole lot about their history as it pertains to konoha we know that choza akamichi is their 15th clan head so they've been around for a very long time and we also know that choji akamichi is slated to be their 16th head if you think about that it's truly insane how long that lineage is because we've only seen what five heads of the uchiha clan there was tajima uchiha madara's father madara and then there's kind of a blank period where we don't really know who's in charge Large, but we can assume someone stepped up after Madara left the village and he was kind of kicked out of the Uchiha clan. And then there was most likely either one or two people after him before Fugaku, Itachi, and Sasuke's father took over. And then I guess obviously Sasuke is now the clan head. There wasn't a whole lot of options. But at most, that is six clan heads since the beginning of Naruto. And the Akamichis are at 50. We can also assume because the Akamichi are one of the four noble clans of Konoha that they were very early adopters to Konoha as a home. This is further solidified through the fact that they are very close to the Yamanaka clan and the Nara clan, the Nara clan, who were one of the first people to join Konoha, and we know that for sure. It's even further backed up by the fact that a Sarutobi clan member will gift a pair of earrings to a member of the Inashika show if they are going to be the next clan head once they're promoted to Chunin. This is why we saw Asuma give Shikamaru, Ino, and Choji earrings. And that tells me the Akamichi have been around for a very long time because the Sarutobis were literally the first clan to join Konoha. For more information about that, please watch my video about the Sarutobis right here. So we know they're a storied clan with a long connection to the Yamanakas, the Naras, and the Sarutobis. But I would like to talk about their abilities because it's actually more confusing than a lot of people think it is. Members of the Akamichi specialize in Yang release. And I've made a whole video about Yin, yang and yin yang release right about here but i'll briefly go over what it is right now yang release is essentially when you use your physical energy to control the vitality of objects you can essentially grant life to things that don't already have it or you can use your physical energy to change things that already have life and that's exactly how the akamichi use it essentially by converting physical energy in the form of calories an akamichi is able to change the shape of their body think of yang release a bit like alchemy in the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood universe. By expending things like fat cells, you can change the form of something that's living or give life to like, I don't know, a rock? And yes, that is something that can happen because we learned that people who learn Senjutsu in Ryuchi Cave actually have the ability to give life to non-sentient organisms. It was this close to saying the other word. We learned this from Kabuto, who was able to give life to essentially dirt to fight Itachi. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the Akamichi's secret technique, calorie control. That's right, the Akamichi secret technique is not partial expansion jutsu. It's called calorie control. Calorie control is the basis for every single one of the Akamichi's clan's abilities, and it allows them to convert calories into chakra, which is actually very impressive because chakra is the combination of physical energy and spiritual energy. But the Akamichis are essentially able to bypass spiritual energy in order to create chakra. This means that an Akamichi has as much chakra as they have physical energy physical energy is just for them fat this is actually why the akamichis eat so much is because they are constantly burning fat to convert into chakra and all of the akamichis clan techniques are incredibly chakra depletive like as high as possible so in order to keep their chakra filled and be able to use these techniques they have to eat a ton and actually because they have to eat so much they actually have the kanji for food on their chest plates you got to keep what's important close to the heart so how do they use this calorie control mostly in the way that i described earlier by changing their body but not everybody is able to openly and readily convert all of the fat in their body to chakra it takes a long time to master and because of that there is a thing called the three colored pills the three colored pills are a bit like the eight gates but only for the Akamichi. Essentially, in the three colored pills, there's three colored pills. The green pill, which is the spinach pill, 
the yellow pill, which is the yellow curry pill, and then the red pill, which is the red chili pill. Think of these pills like you would think of the eight gates. Essentially, the more you eat, the stronger you get, but the higher likelihood that you end up killing yourself. This is because the three colored pills actually allow you to break down your fat into chakra easier, but they poison you. The poisoning effect of the green and the yellow pills aren't fatal, but the poisoning effect of the red pill absolutely is. If you take the red pill, all of your body's fat is immediately consumed and made into chakra. And while this may seem like the world's best diet pill, it's not because your body needs fat to survive. You may not need it on your stomach, but you need it in places like your liver. This is why the lowest that a human can pretty much go body fat wise is in men, because men usually have a lower body fat percentage than women and going below 2% is almost deadly. Women have higher body fat percentages because they need more reserve for like children and all of that. That's your biology lesson for the day. But yeah, you go to zero, you... And this is why Choji technically should have died when he took the red chili pill against Jirobo and then used that power to kill Jirobo. But fortunately for the Akamichis, the Nara clan were very close to them. And the Nara clan have been making medical textbooks and medical remedies for hundreds of years. So the Naras did a bunch of research on the tricolored pills and the poisoning that it affects the body with and kind of found a solution. Well, they hadn't really found a solution. They had just kind of identified exactly what the problem was with the tricolored pills. So Tsunade was able to write the books that they wrote about the tricolored pills and actually find a counterbalance to this poison, extract it from Choji and save his life. If you want to hear more about that, I made a whole video about Tsunade's life. You can check it out right there. The reason Choji had to take these pills though is because he wanted access to something called a butterfly mode. Butterfly mode is really cool and also non-intentionally looks like a butterfly. Essentially, when an Akamichi enters butterfly mode, they're creating so much chakra that it becomes ultra condensed. And they're creating so much ultra condensed chakra that they actually can't keep all of it in their body. So their chakra actually begins to leak out of their backbone. This chakra then becomes visible because of the friction that incurs as it bumps into the shoulder blades. And as the chakra heads out and bumps into the shoulder blades, it creates the appearance of butterfly wings. But just because this chakra is floating away from them does not mean that the Akamichis can't still use it. In fact, the Akamichis can focus this chakra in a wing into their fists to deal devastating blows to enemies. How devastating? Well, the Akamichis are stated to be the strongest non-chakra assisted people in the leaf. In fact, in Boruto, Naruto says that Choji is the strongest person in the leaf. And while he doesn't say whether or not that's chakra assisted or non-chakra assisted, people who live in the leaf include Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, but there's other more traditional ways to use these wings. Essentially, as the chakra begins to shoot out, the wings become huge and unstable. But a practice Akamichi can pull the wings in to be smaller and more condensed. It's at this point that that Akamichi can use these wings to bat in huge gusts of air at their enemies or even to fly. However, creating this vast amount of chakra is very physical energy depletive. This is why when we see Choji or other people use the butterfly mode, they become super thin, all of their fat immediately being rendered off of them into chakra. Akamichis, who can control making the butterfly mode without the use of the tricolored pills, are able to cut this off, as in cut off the conversion of fat to chakra, making it much safer for them. But just being able to access this mode does not mean an Akamichi will be stronger. In fact, we learned in Boruto when Chocho uses butterfly mode, but she doesn't know exactly how to use it, that her strength actually wanes. Essentially, without all the fat and muscle that she would usually have without being in butterfly mode, she's gone weaker because she doesn't know how to use this ultra compressed chakra in a competitive and offensive way. So mastering butterfly mode is very important before trying to use it in actual combat. But let's talk about some of the Akamichi's abilities that aren't butterfly mode. And this is where we finally get to talking about partial expansion jutsu. Essentially, Akamichi's use this chakra that they make by burning calories to change the shape of their bodies. This can take the form of of a huge hand or a huge foot, or even just a huge body. But it doesn't always have to be growing. It can actually just be changing. We see this with Choji's use, and I guess Chocho's use as well, of the human bullet tank technique. By becoming massively bulbous and essentially becoming a large bubble, an Akamichi is essentially able to become a big ball of pain. They expand their body in a circle and then bring in their arms and their legs and their head so they're able to spin. They can then use this attack to spin at enemies and knock them over or even crush them. But we all know that about the Akamichis. They're able to become big spheres and roll at people. 
What's more interesting is how Choji actually learned how to adapt this technique. In part two, in Choji's fight against Jirobo, we see him tie a bunch of kunai around him in order to make himself spiky to increase the deadliness of this attack. But what's truly interesting is how Choji approaches these spikes later on in the anime. Choji obviously, as a genin, had very short hair, but as he grows into a chunin and later a jonin, we see him growing his hair out. This is because when he uses human tank bullet jutsu, he uses his hair to wrap around him and make spikes, exactly like how Jiraiya uses Needle Jiza. So not only is an Akamichi able Able to change their body shape, they can also use their hair to increase their deadliness. And before you say, well, yeah, but it's just a ball of fat. How bad could it hurt? The Akamichis are also able to harden their bodies using their partial expansion jutsu. So they effectively become very fast spiky boulders, or they become very fast spiky yo-yos. This is because of the Akamichi and Nara clan's proficiency and ability to work with each other. That Choji and Shikamaru made a new technique, where Choji and Shikamaru connect their shadows, and then Choji activates human bullet technique. It's at this point that Shikamaru literally picks up Choji with his shadow and uses him as the only yo-yo deadlier than Kilawas. This is honestly more impressive for Shikamaru, who's able to pick up a human bullet tank technique from Choji, but it's impressive for both of them. But let's say that an Akamichi clan member doesn't want to use that technique, and they want to just fight with their hands. Most members of the Akamichi clan are shown wielding bow staffs. These bow staffs are very similar to the ones that we see people like Sun Wukong using, or Goku, or even heroes in. I say that because the bow staff changes his shape with the Akamichi. Remember, Yang release allows you to change the shape of both inanimate and living objects. So as an Akamichi member grows, let's say their entire body, they also funnel chakra into their bow staff to make it proportionally large. They also have to do the same thing for the clothes they're wearing, for the plate armor on top of that clothes. And at this point, when they are the size of a mountain, they use their also colossal bow staff to clear out entire areas of battlefields. In fact, it's stated that the Akamichis, who are at the highest level of the partial expansion technique, are able to become the size of mountains instantaneously. In fact, in the official data book, it says that the Akamichis, Choji specifically, can become the size of a mountain at the speed of lightning. That's bigger than the Colossal Titan, who's only about 80 meters tall, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if you guys have seen any mountains recently, but they're taller than 80 meters. Take that into effect and realize that the red colored pill is stated to make an Akamichi member roughly 100 times stronger than they were prior, much in the same way that the Eighth Gate makes you 100 times stronger than you were prior. But the Akamichis can achieve this state without the red pill. So not only can they instantaneously be the size of a mountain, but they can also be a hundred times stronger than they were in base form using butterfly mode, which they can stack on top of the mountain sized thing. This is why the Akamichis are part of the royal clans of Konoha. This is why they have been heavily embroiled in Konoha skirmishes for years. In fact, Choji and Choza aren't even the first people of prominence to fight for Konoha. Well, obviously that part is obvious, but they're not the first people that we know of. We actually know of somebody who came before Choza and Choji, who played an incredibly important part of the war effort for Konoha. This person is called Doto Akamichi. Doto Akamichi was part of Minato's three-man squad during the Third Great Ninja War, a squad that consisted of Doto, Minato, and Gaku Inazuka, somebody from Kiba's clan. And these weren't just Genin that got slapped together because they might work together. These were people that were considered to be able to keep up with Minato on the front lines of the Third Great Ninja War. And it's because of this that he was considered to be one of the most influential people of the Third Great Ninja War. So yeah, the Akamichis have been around for a long time and will be around for a long time coming because while they are very powerful, they're not too powerful. So they're not going to get wiped out like the Uzumakis or the Uchihas. But also, why would you try to wipe out the group of people who can become the size of a mountain at the speed of lightning? And if that's not good enough for you, fly away. Oh, and we don't know why they paint their faces. We kind of assume it's a type of war paint, but we're not like for sure. And that's it. That's everything we know about the Akamichi clan, which is unfortunately not enough because they're a very interesting group of people. But if I expanded your brain a little bit and increased your anime knowledge, please for me, like this video, subscribe to the page and hit that noti bell. Everyone's like, oh, how did Choji get Karui to marry him? Three words, partial expansion. Jutsu.